Now to other news of the day. We'll find out this week who the newest member of City Council will be. Border City residents are heading to the polls Wednesday to elect a sixth city councillor. Now in order to be eligible to vote, you need to be a Canadian citizen and 18 years old. Now you also need to have lived in Alberta or Saskatchewan for at least six months and have lived in Lloydminster for at least three. When you come to the polling station, you have to sign a declaration. Uh, and what you're doing is swearing that you meet all the criteria of a voter. If you own property, you're also eligible to vote. So if you own a house within the city, but you live outside of the city, you can vote in the municipal election based on your ownership of that property. The polling stations are open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Wednesday. Now, if you live north of 44th Street, you'll vote at St. John's Anglican Church. And if you live south of 44th Street, you'll vote at the Service Sports Centre. Now, just remember to bring with you valid photo ID. Now, 110 people voted in the advance poll last week. For more information, you can head to lloydminster.ca slash election. Four local area firefighters are celebrating as they reached a major milestone in their careers. The 21st annual Britannia Wilton Fireman's Ball was held this weekend here in the border city. And as Bart Pettyasek explains, it wasn't just a night of dinner, drinks and dancing. Hundreds of people packed the sold out Stockade Convention Centre as the community got together to show appreciation for local area firefighters. Craig Robertson was just one of those members from the fire department that was honored. It's kind of surreal. Um, I'm not a spotlight type of person, so you know things like this, or if somebody comes up and meets me in the street and thanks me and stuff, it's, it's a little surreal, uh, surreal feeling, but yeah, it, it feels good. It really does. Robertson has been a volunteer firefighter since he was just 19 years old. The family man works full-time at the Lloydminster Hospital and says it wasn't always easy balancing everything. It's tough because you never know when you're going to get called out. You can go days, weeks, months, or you can have a string of a bunch of fires all at once. And yeah, it can be stressful on family. But ultimately, he says it's rewarding. It's something kind of special, actually. Um, it's an interesting feeling that you know that you're, you're helping, helping out your community and you get an immediate response as to what you're doing. Because you can see... You see the people that you're helping in the community. Robertson was just one of four long-serving members being honoured. According to Captain Aaron Buckingham, their years of service speak for themselves. In our fire department, we do awards in five-year intervals. We only have 15-year awards actually this year, so we've got four individuals getting 15-year awards, and they've all signed up by within a few months of each other 15 years ago. So it's a great, it's a real testament to those guys that they've done 15 years worth of uh, volunteering. But it's not all about plaques and medals. Buckingham says the chance to sit down and celebrate with other firefighters goes a long way. It's great for us because it gets us out in the community as well, but it's all about recognizing the guys. It's, it really is. It's a night of celebration, relaxation, and uh, reflection on how the last year has gone. As for if Robertson would do it all over again? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, without question. Yeah, absolutely. I, I've loved the last 15 years. They've gone by in a blast. Bart Pediasek, Newcap News. As the temperatures heat up and the snow melts away, driving conditions will improve, and that means an increase in lead foots. April is Speeding Awareness Month, and in this installment of RCMP Monthly, we sit down with police to talk about the problem. I'm here with Corporal Dave Kadoon with the Lloydminster RCMP Traffic Unit. Thank you for joining us. Um, so April is Speed Awareness Month, and so that's kind of a subject that speeding never goes away. Even though there's so many PSAs, everyone's always talking about speeding kills. That's just something that people will always speed. So as an RCMP officer in the traffic unit, do you feel that speeding is a problem here in Lloydminster? Yeah, it tends to be. And the reason the provincial initiative through Alberta is this is Speed Awareness Month is this is the month where the snow is supposed to be gone from the roadways and speed tends to pick up. And, you know, by record state, that is, that's what happens and we brace for April to be when people do tend to speed. Um, so far this year, even in those winter months, uh, speeding was a problem in the city. Even here in the border city, we're seeing a lot of um, heavy traffic when it comes to commercial vehicles, semi-trucks, big work trucks. So is that kind of a problem too when we have people speeding with so many heavy loads on the road? Yeah, it makes a difference because now you have that um, generalization of the multitude of different types of vehicles. 
Uh, not to mention the fact you mentioned sleet and snow. Those roadways are covered with silt uh, from the winter months before the street cleaning has come out. And that affects things. And the reason it's causing a problem is people don't understand it takes time to stop. You have a wet road, a slippery road, even road with that uh, dirt, uh, the dirt and silt on it. Uh, it takes a lot longer to stop. Um, you know, the speed limits are posted for a reason. Those aren't what you have to go. That's the maximum that you can go. Okay. So if we were kind of comparing numbers, are we seeing a lot more speeders in the past few months or even like the comparing the numbers? Has, has speeding here in the border city been on the rise? Yeah, you know, it, it is up. It's not like it was last year in 2012 where we had that really light winter where the roads were clear for most of it. Um, but so far this year, uh, up to the end of March, um, we've had 350 speeding tickets issued by the RCMP uh, in the city. On top of that, uh, around the 3,000 mark uh, for photo radar. And that's just through the winter months. Um, it's going to get, the, I guess the numbers themselves will get higher uh, as the summer progresses. Do you feel like some people are also kind of complaining, seeing how um, kind of coming in off the highway and then seeing highway um, 16 isn't, it's a 50 zone. So I think a lot of people might not realize that because it is such a, you know, it is a highway. So people might not realize that. You know, it does come up uh, when we do police those uh, areas where traffic is coming into the city. But the highways departments in both provinces have posted the warning signs, um, dropping them down to 80. Uh, kilometers uh, several hundred meters outside the city to 60 and then essentially 250 kilometers an hour and you get more into the heart of the city and that's for both uh, basically both sides all the corners of the city we ask the people do obey those they're there for a reason and uh, when you're traveling at 120 kilometers an hour in the 60 zone you know there's definitely going to be a deal that we have to, I guess, put up with. And that's exactly it. April right now is going to lead into the summer months where we are seeing a lot of um, long weekends, the holidays and all that stuff. So one last final note to all the drivers out there who feel that they can speed or that they're going to get away with it. What would you say? Basically, don't uh, don't try it. Uh, if we catch you speeding, we will be issuing a ticket. We're much more personable um, than the May, might get in other areas. And we just want people to make sure they get home safe and uh, don't just think of yourself on the roadway, think of the others out there as well. Well, thank you so much for joining us once again. This is Corporal Dave Kadoon with the Lloydminster RCMP Traffic Unit. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.